even if your business is small or large. It doesn't really matter, and we should always think about the risk in businesses. When I first started off my business, from the very start, I thought about de-risking. When you want to de-risk your business, the main things you should be looking at is your stakeholders of the business, your internal stakeholders, which is um, employees, um, you know, contractors, you know, customers could be one as well. And then um, you can also look at your processes in your business. But the processes in the business could be operations in the business, how your money is getting collected. Examples uh, that I always tell my clients to do is first get insurance. You know, there's a lot of different types of insurances you get and definitely insure your equipment. If your equipment goes down, your business is going to go down with it. So make sure that you have the right insurances in place to protect your equipment, but also protect the income flowing from that business. Another thing you should look at is your employees. So making sure that one, you got your employment contracts in place, but also a lot of small businesses don't think about this, but having a process manual in place when your employees are there and getting them to write one up or getting yourself to write one up, it's a very beneficial because if they do decide to leave, you can have this process manual and pass this over to the next person and that person will be able to pick up from when this one um, left. All right, so another thing that we should also look at with um, uh, de-risking your business is um, having money for rainy days. But the thing I always tell my clients is, if the bank's gonna give you money, take it. Like, you don't always have to use it, um, but just take the money just in case something happens. So, or maybe there's an investment opportunity for yourself. Having an overdraft in your um, bank account is very useful. If uh, your money ever gets dipped, dipped in the red, it's not gonna affect yourself, like, because you still can keep running. A lot of clients, they don't think about this when they're uh, doing really well, but when the business slows down or when there's a downturn, they need some money just to last for the next couple of months. And having an overdraft is actually very beneficial. And it's always good to get it when you're making a lot of money, when you're, you're profitable, because the banks are more likely to give you that. You don't go to the bank when you're not doing so well and asking for overdraft, because they most likely won't be giving you one. So always good to have that in place. Another thing in place is um, looking at your customers. Like having these customers and making, making sure that these customers are good, but also being able to collect the cash and income from these customers. If you have uh, issues with your collection of um, income, then it's gonna cause a lot of issues for your business. And one way of de-risking that and preventing that from happening is having some sort of payment arrangement with your client where they do a direct debit system, having progress payments with your clients. Just changing around. These days with um, software companies coming in, new technology coming in, credit cards coming in, it's a lot more easier to get paid and having those facilities in place to help you de-risk your business is very beneficial. So just to wrap up, like, you know, looking at overdrafts, looking at collecting your money, looking at contracts in place with your employees as well as your um, uh, contractors and um, customers, looking at uh, fixing up your process manuals and making sure that if someone does leave, you still have the um, process manuals to give to your next employee. Then that's really how you de-risk your business. The bigger you grow, there's a lot more other uh, steps that you can take. But you know, for a small business, uh, having a look at all those and your stakeholders, it's, it's very beneficial to de-risk your business. That way, if there is ever a downturn or if something does happen in your business, you're protected and you should be a lot less likely to lose your business.